Houston got a problem here no heat from this unit it's an oil boiler a kind that nobody has where I came from but it's ubiquitous in Ireland and the UK and apparently in the US as well so there's a big old tank with your kerosene oil that white line over there goes underground and it emerges right here where it goes around what is the combustion chamber around it all the way to here and in this area here is where your burner is your furnace I have the furnace taken out here that's this unit over here and the furnace has one motor which on one side operates the the pump this is well the this is where the fuel goes in that's the fuel pump and it pressurizes this little thing which then squirts it out there that's the business end of the whole thing and of course you have your spark ignition there which this unit takes care of and which this transformer creates a high voltage for okay so that's how it works in general now the flame goes out this business end and it goes into the combustion chamber in there and the combustion chamber has a good number of pipes with water that the fire is heating up right and this is the pump that pumps the the water in and out of the the combustion chamber and into back into the house so cold water in hot water back back out and into the house so this heats the water in the immersion heater upstairs and it also sends out water to the radiators and it stopped working and it started doing weird weird sounds and it started leaking water so I disassembled it today and one thing I've noticed is that there's a lot of orange water here, right? And when I took the furnace out, I've noticed that the combustion chamber is full of water all the way up to the rim of this, this hole here. So the, the water was coming out here and into the furnace. So I don't expect the furnace to last very long because it got some water damage. I think I will get it to work again for a little bit, but uh, that does not resolve the, the root cause, which probably is rusted and ruptured water pipe inside the combustion chamber. So that's gonna have to go. And the furnace, that's not gonna serve for much longer either. So the whole unit has to go. Great. Thankfully, it's just the start of the summer season, which means we don't really use it that much. For hot water, we have our solar panels, which are not electrovoltaic solar panels. They just heat water. So we have enough water for our showers and stuff like that for as long as the weather holds. And this needs to be resolved before the winter comes back. Great. Well done. Well done, 
Scarecross. The house isn't even that long. The house isn't even that old is what I mean. It's like 12 years I think. 12 to 15 years anyway. I'd expect this to last a little bit longer, right? It has 5,430 hours on the clock. Well, anyway, what I think I'm going to try to do is get inside that. Just for the fun of it, really, because like it, it does have to be replaced anyway. <clears throat> and I'm going to see if I can locate the, uh, the, the, the point of the, the failure. And see if there are any learnings to be taken from there. But before that, I'm probably going to put it back together because I did siphon out all the water and I'm gonna dry it out even more inside let's see how that goes and I want to see how quickly the water gets back all the way up all the way up to the rim again oh isn't that lovely look at that yeah right um, I have one more theory because this is an outdoor unit this entire uh, oil boiler is an outdoor unit which is the reason why it's in the green casing so it actually can be right exposed to the elements and it was raining here before I built that roof so I'm just wondering how old the water is inside there and whether it's a rainwater. I don't think so. I don't think it is because the the roof has been above this for the last three or four years. Which means the combustion chamber shouldn't really get any fuller than it was. And it only shit the bed now after being three or four years under the roof so it's probably knackered but no harm playing around with it a little bit further and learn a little bit more about the subject right worst case gonna fill up again quite quickly means we just need to get a, an, an entire new unit I'm gonna put it back together and see how it goes back together I've obtained a fake tan on my palms which is useful in Ireland now let's see if it runs I think it should I think it should run connect the fuel line back in there back in. But before I do that, just gonna double check to make sure nobody turned it back on, on me. Nothing's live here. Brown, that's the most important one. We're all good. We're all good. Brown is live. Blue is neutral. Close that back up. 
to ensure that the ground is also connected to somewhere just to make sure that everybody's on the same zero potential. Okay. That's the power in. We have the grounding which also connects to the chassis. I am not going to fasten it all the way into the combustion chamber because I want to see some flames. Let's keep it safe and keep it in, just not all the way so I can see around it. I want to see some flames through here and there. Okay, so on. Fuel on. Go back and check for any fuel leaks. So far, so good. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that there may be a bubble there, so we may need to get rid of the rid of the air, which is done through this body here. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the heating in the house. Hot water on. Let's see if this chooses. Uh huh. No. Give me some power. Give me some power, please. There we go. Burn, baby. Again. Right. That seems to be trying. Let's put it in there properly. Come on, bye. Can do it. Oh, yeah. We have fire. All right. Got it back to sixty five C for the output water temperature. coming from here looks like we are chooching <sighs> let's see for how long that's what I want to see anyway we're back up for now oh, yeah. yeah it actually works that's a good sign See hole. See for how long. And let's see how much longer we can keep this old man working. This old buddy. Girl cross.
Okay. That's it for today. Let's see. See ya.